Hey guys, welcome to the Maria Fontana show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So today I wanted to talk about something that, you know, <laughs> is um, a really, I don't know, it could be a touchy topic. It could be a great topic. It's, you know, the most wonderful time of the year. And I say that with sarcasm because for so many of us, um, it could be the most stressful time of the year, right? And we get so caught up in the busyness and the overwhelm and the mental abuse of ourselves because we haven't hit our goals or we didn't meet expectations we thought we should have met and all this other self-sabotaging, self-beating up nonsense, which is really, it comes down to an old limiting belief. These are old mindsets and even for people like myself and, and so many of you that have done so much of the healing work, so much of the inner work, so much of upping your inner game, sometimes we can fall off track. So I'm here today on December 7th, 2023, to remind you to give yourself a freaking break, to give yourself some grace. So I'll tell you a quick story. So this morning, I had one of those mornings where a whole shitload of things just kept going wrong. And it it almost set me over the edge because it was one stupid thing after another. And I had to pull myself out of going into madness because I almost felt myself starting to cry. I felt the frustration, the tightness in my shoulders. And I'm like, what the hell am I doing? So I had to stop and I had to step out of my own way. I had to recalibrate. Now I'm going to share with you like how I do this because again, even myself that I've done tons of healing work, tons of, you know, personal development work, we still can get caught up in our own tornadoes occasionally when stuff that's out of our control happens to us, right? And what I did was I stopped everything. I started taking a few deep breaths and I just started saying a mantra over and over. I mean, what works for me is you could say a prayer. If you're religious, you could just start repeating a prayer that resonates with you. If you're not religious and you want to just repeat an affirmation, a mantra, I go back and forth and I repeat different things. Sometimes I'll say a little prayer for myself and I'll just create my own mantras where I'm just like, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am fine. I'm good. I'm enough. Everything around me is beautiful. I have enough. I do enough. Everything's going to be okay. And then all of a sudden, as I'm saying these things, my nervous system starts to calm. I also, um, you can probably hear in the background, I am a big fan of healing music high frequency healing music, meditation music, abundance music. You can find unlimited amounts of this free and royalty free on YouTube, on podcasts. And I find it helps me while I'm doing this, either in the car, on the phone, when I'm working, I keep different beautiful background music that's healing, that's positive, that helps relieve my stress, my anxiety. It helps me think better And these are daily rituals that I have had to instill into my life because I'm human, guys. I run three different companies. I have two kids. I have a hubby. I have a dog. I have a house. I have an elderly, you know, mother. I've got siblings. I've got friends. You know, there's life. There's health. Um, There's just so many things. I wanted to come on here and really share the reality. You know, I struggle and cope with autoimmune issues. And some days it really can wear you down, you know, like constant pain and different things. So I'm always looking to share with my audience and share with you guys that we're all real. Like, don't be fooled by the bullshit you see on social media or, you know, even myself, my pictures look super good because yeah, we all get some retouching, some Photoshop. Why the hell not? I mean, you know what? We all want to look good, right? I want you to be nice to yourself and give yourself some grace today and open your heart to accepting grace for yourself. Because the biggest proponent I have found 
in my success, in my growth personally and professionally is being able to forgive others and forgiving ourselves. And that means giving yourself some grace. So I'm going to talk about this in my next podcast episode, all about forgiveness and wealth and how I found they correlate. But that's that's next week's episode. So make sure you stay tuned and listen. But going back to what I was talking about, it's it's instilling these little rituals that are going to help you reel yourself back in. I always imagine, you know, like when someone goes fishing and they throw out the fishing rod and and the, the hook and the weight goes all the way out into the ocean and then it's like lost and it's going like from side to side because all the currents, you have to be the real of your emotions, the real of your soul and gently reel yourself back in when you feel like you're getting off course and be nice to yourself about it. So I hope this inspired you today, motivated you, and and again, helped you realize that you are allowed to be human, that you should give yourself some grace every day. It is your birthright to give yourself grace, and that success is a multifaceted aspect. It's not a one size fits anybody at any time. So here's sending you guys lots of love and light. Be mindful. Watch your calendar. Watch your time. Be nice to yourselves in this period of the year where sometimes, to me, yes, it is the most beautiful time of the year, the most wonderful time of the year. Keep it that way for yourself in your in your circle. Don't allow it to become the most stressful. So if this inspired you today, guys, as always, share out this podcast, share it with your friends. I want to inspire. My mission is to inspire, motivate, and help as many entrepreneurs globally, service-based entrepreneurs globally that I can And I want you to share, leave me a review. And again, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for being here. You mean the world to me. I love you all. Have a great day.